South Carolina School of the Deaf and Blind. All right, what do we have going on today? Hi there, I'm Marcy Meacham with the South Carolina Deaf Blind Project. We are an outreach through the School for the Deaf and Blind up in Spartanburg. Okay. And um, we work with children and individuals birth through 21 who have both hearing and vision loss. Mm -hmm. And um, we are federal grant, also supported by the School for the Deaf and Blind. And we provide materials, programming, training for both families and districts to help them support students with dual sensory loss. Marvelous. And if someone needed you all services, where would they need to go or what number would they contact? If they go to the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind under both the deaf services and visually impaired services, there is a drop down menu and there's a page for the, the deaf blind project. Got you. And I don't seem to have any more of my comments. Oh, that's all right. So that's going to be the scsdb.org? Yes. Marvelous. Yes. And then, and I think I'm done. Mar <laughs> but then we represent the campus program. Really? In Spartanburg. We're celebrating our 175th. Well, congratulations. And um, so we have an application process. I can give you that too. Okay. And on our table, we have assistive some, technology. Yeah, of the assistive technology that we use specifically over at the School for the Blind. Okay. And what we have here is our iPad, and um, we have the screen reading software that's built into the iPad already called VoiceOver. And at the school, we teach our students how to use VoiceOver because they just won't know how to do that on their own. What we also have connected is the Focus 40, which there's a vendor here, refreshable braille display. Mm -hmm. And so we have it connected, and if you look really close, it's reading whatever our voiceover box is on right now on our device. Wow. We also are showing our students how to type using a refreshable braille display and a brailler. So I'll show you. This is our 3D printed brailler right here. Wow. And so this is what they use to type and this is the code that they use to type. So like A is dot one. One, two is B, and they can use this refreshable braille display to type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to press dot seven, mm -hmm. and I'm going to delete everything that is on the refreshable braille and on my screen. And I'm not there yet, I'm almost there. <laughs> Getting there. And we're gonna select Select. Cool. So, our students can type like A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. And that disappeared. <laughs> Sorry, give me a second. No problem. I think it's still trying to catch up from all the backspacing that That's I no was problem. doing. I'm going to turn voiceover off. I'm going to turn it back on. Sometimes it just it has a moment and then we restart. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna look for the cursors, what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the cursor right there, which mm -hmm. is the blinking cursor there, so now I'll do my typing. A whole bunch of nothing. Let me try this. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just tired. There it's we been go. a long day. <laughs> That's no problem. It's just tired. Um, and then what we also have here are some of our 3D printed items that we make at the school. Okay. <laughs> so we are making, this is the home screen of an iPad. And mm -hmm. we teach our students about the home screen by feeling it. So like, this is the top left. This gotcha. is an app. And we teach them some of the voiceover skills. So if we use our one finger and we swipe right with a flick, we're going to jump from this app to this app. Gotcha. We can teach them shortcuts to go to the very last app. And so we say the very last app is on the bottom right in the dock is what mm -hmm. they call it. We also 3D print um, name tags for their braille, for their white canes. Mm -hmm. And we have some money embossers that they can um, emboss their money and have the currency of their bills on. Gotcha. Um, and that's it. 
So just a variety of different items to help make life more usable, user-friendly, and a little bit more easier. Yeah. Marvelous. Well, I certainly appreciate that.